Hey there guys, my name is Marquez and in this video I will guide you how you can easily use Antask. This is going to be a complete tutorial on Antask Manager and how we can use it. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to click here pricing next to the book a demo. Then I'm going to choose uh, the business and start a seven day business trial. And when you're going to do it, you have to uh, choose an email address. So you have to put like choose to sign up with Google or write it out by yourself. So I'm going to uh, sign with a Google account here and just wait for a while and then we're going to continue. Okay, and here we are. So in the moment when you're going to enter your email and you're going to log in, you have to add a password and then confirm password and then press continue. Then you can have the first thing first, create your team and workspace. So I'm going to add a team name. Let's say it's going to be Sanwi Corporation. This is the team name. Workspace name, let's say it's going to be marketing department or, or HR, research, whatever. You're gonna choose. And then select your regional data center. I'm gonna choose European Union because I'm from Europe. Now when you got it, press now continue again. And what is your work industry? So I'm going to, let's choose the computer technology. And then I'm going to, to choose, let's say graphic designer. So we're going to choose the work industry and job title. How many people you'll be using and task. And then how did you hear about us? And you would choose it. And then you can click add later or continue. And then you have to just like simply invite team members and then take me to end task. So when you're going to like write emails in a moment, when you're going to enter end task on the left side, you would be able to see uh, the team. This is like your, let's say Sunway corporation. And under that, you're going to find workspaces. So workspaces can be for marketing department. It can be whatever workspace category you would choose. It can be even for projects. So let's say you've got one big project and you want to add it under multiple workspaces. You can do it. But when we're going to enter, let's say marketing department, that we just created. You can click here or click here. You're going to find projects right here. And what we can do is, uh, is available on our premium plan or start a seven day free trial. That's what we want. And here we are. So here we got a project and what we want to do is just simply click create a first project. I'm going to have a project title, let's say marketing project, which is going to be about a YouTube video. Let's say that's our marketing project. You can always add a new project here. You can move it or you can simply open it. So I can add even a new project, which can be YouTube video. And there's an ID There is going to be project manager who is going, then the progress of the whole project resources. I can move simply and I can see the tasks and all the things that you see on the left side, you're going to be able to see here. So project is uh, like a workspace is a top. Then you can have hundred projects. So right here, you're going to have, uh, let's say option to add a tasks and details and everything. So we can have it as a billable or non billable. If you can have it as a billable, you can have it as a fixed fee per task, hourly rate, and then total project fee. You can have it, let's say five, like $811. So that's like the first thing here. Then I'm going to have resources like team members here, tasks, but uh, you can easily like add and create tasks here. Or I'm going to show you how we can do it also in a quick access milestones and financial summary. And if I'm going to add everything after that, you will be able to see how it works. Then you can also change the color of the project. You can also have updates here, documents, activity log, doc view. So when you're going to have this, And what you can do is after you're going to understand the project, you can also switch between grid or calendar. 
What you can do next is just click here on boards and here you would find everything. All boards here and you can always create a new board. Board title can be let's say YouTube business video and I can click here create a new board. I can always click on a board, I can change the color of the board and here you're going to have all the tasks. So when you have the project, look at this, we added a new board, which means also we added a new project. We have the YouTube business video. When I'm going to click on a board on our category, let's say YouTube video on our project here, I can simply add the tasks. So let's say there is going to be a new task, which is going to get called uh, create YouTube description and start recording video. So I can have like, this is the tasks and I can simply enable subtasks on the top. You can see right here. I'm going to even zoom in a little bit. And when I'm going to click here and click here, like let's say on the tasks, I can simply click on a project here and that's project. Then when it's going to be plan start, actual, then plan date here, actually end, right? You can change the priority have a to do items list. So let's say the to do item list can be for the start recording video, a prepare, a text. So that's a to do list item. And what I can do, I can simply on the top, uh, have like entry for a uh, time tracking. So that's something you can do, or you can pause it or what you can do, have an estimate time or I can simply click plus here and simply have a manual entry. So that's something you can do too here. And as you can see, we're going to have one hour uh, in our entry. Then I can have also documents here and meetings and issues. So all of that, uh, what we can find on the left side, you'll be able to find in your task here and you can have a conversation here. When you can have it, I'm going to like pause the time tracking. And then I see that I can also switch the status of our task. Now, when you got it, what you can do, you can simply move it. And what will happen when you're creating in a board tasks, I can simply go back to project and let's see, see, we can have like, see two tasks here. So you can have directly your tasks under the project. Even if you're going to edit them in a board, you can always see them in a project. So, then you can simply click on the tasks and what will happen in the tasks, you can directly see those tasks that we added in a board, but in a better in a list view, you can have it also in a grid view or calendar view in a, a list view. I can again, simply add a new task here and let's say it's going to be create thumbnail. And look at this, we can, we can change the start uh, the status. I can have plan start here, actually start and select even the project. When I'm going to change the project in my tasks and when I would go back to the project, I can see the YouTube business video right here. And when I'm going to move, I can see that I am going to have a task here. Then this is how we can uh, manage the tasks. Then I'm going to find also the meetings and what you can do is you can create meetings. So I can click here and click plus and add a meeting title. So that can be a uh, discussion about YouTube videos. And then I can have date, start time and task. I create thumbnail, start recording video, all of that. Then, uh, which is going to be task. Okay. This one duration location, participants agenda, and I will click create meeting. Then I can see it right here. So I'm going to have the status, the task, the date, the location. And what I can do, I can simply cancel the meeting, archive the meeting, delete the meeting. So that's what you can do. Now, the next thing that we're going to have is when you're going to have the meetings, 
and again you can have it as a grid or list view are timesheets. In the timesheets you would see uh, what would be the time entries. So let's say we have task title which is a project name YouTube video and we're gonna have the time locked here. I can simply click here and add our hours. For every day I can simply add more hours and you can add uh, time entries here, right? But let's say that we're going to be next to the project. And we can also like add here for different days if you want to. So you can always click here. Let's say for add a task. YouTube description. Or create a thumbnail. See? So we can simply add the tasks here and automatically you would have the projects with it. So you can remove those tasks or you can have them here. And then you can simply add a like time entry and add it to your to your timesheet. So this is how the timesheet works. If you can have any questions guys how I'm like explaining stuff let me down below in the comments I'll be really happy to help you. Then under timesheets you're going to have the issues here also and you're going to create issue. back in our marketing software you can assign it to someone and then you can add if it's going to be improvement feature or a bug so I'm going to choose if it's a if it's a bug I can create an issue here and then you can change also the severity right and that's pretty much it how we do it we can have it as a minor major critical assignee you can have a plan start here status priority type and I can click here add a new issue. So let's say it can be. But look at this improvement modern major critical. But let's say we want to add a new. And you can add a new issue if you want. Right. And let's say it's going to be what I mentioned is an improvement. You can always change it in the end and if it's a closed open and priority so this is pretty much it how we can do it right and when you're gonna have the issues here you can also click here under issues to risks and we can't use it because we need to have like um we need to have a business plan here and then then you can use this but i'm sorry but i don't have it so uh, we can use only uh, these things that I showed you right now. So if you can have any questions guys regards uh, and task manager I'll be really happy to help you and provide you some guidance. In my opinion it's not that difficult to use and I believe that you can exactly know how to use it and you're not going to make a mistake. So that's pretty much it. Thank you very much guys for watching. Have a great day and goodbye. See ya.